Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm feeling a bit windy. <laughs> Full of it. Uh, no, I'm not really. Um, but what I am going to play with is um, my straw. So what I... What I did was I gessoed this record and as you can see the orange still came through the gesso. So I'm choosing to do a dark pour on this one and um, so because I'm pouring on a record I'm quite happy to use the chromacryl because I don't need to wash. Um, I can't wash a record so I need to clean it off some other way already so may as well use the chroma krill up so i had a look and see what other colors were available in my chroma krill pack and what i had in there was yellow black and raw sienna so that's them um so i remember a little while ago i saw um, Debbie from Acrylic Pouring doing a pour where she um, she kind of did flames on the like a black background and then red and orange and yellow to make a flamey kind of thing going on and I really liked the effect and when I was looking at what can I do with a dark background, use up this black, because I don't very often put black into a, a pore, and use up these other colours. Just looking at the consistency in that sienna is looking a lot thicker than the yellow. I just realised I've already put the... <gasps> I've already put the silicon in and now I'm going to stir it a lot. That's silly. Alright. Anyway. So, I am going to have a go at doing what she did. And yet, but with very muted colours. Well, I don't think lemon green, uh, lemon yellow particularly is a um, muted colour as such. And we'll see what shows up. So what we're going to start off with is a complete covering of black. I have put a bit of tape underneath the hole so that it won't go through. And I've just got it sitting on my four little tins. So let's get some black on there. And just gonna use this kitchen palette knifey thing to smear it around a bit. If I had thought about this beforehand, I would have gone, oh, I won't even bother gessoing that if the orange is going to go through. But I've learnt my lesson now. CBS Records, the orange comes through gesso. You know, you can all learn from my mistake. And then I wouldn't have to worry so much about the edges because they would all be black anyway. How does it get any better? That's okay. Just go around and tap all the edges. I um I applied the gesso on my pottery wheel with a brush and so it's actually quite smooth and looks quite good. I'm a bit, a bit annoyed that the orange came through. That's alright. Um one of the people commented in the in my last video on a record about having um they had the color came through and somebody else suggested well you know soak it in water 
it's not going to affect the vinyl, but the the label should come off. So that sounds like a great idea. And on the others that I haven't gessoed, I am going to go go with that option. All right. Get rid of that. Now it's not particularly, I didn't make the black very runny so it's not doing the good old run round and look smooth thing for me. Um, but there's plenty of bubbles in there so let's get rid of the bubbles. There is no silicon in the black, just FYI. No silicon in the black. And why is that? Because when you put silicon in your bottom colour, you end up more often than not with little spots. Um, right the way through the canvas and that wouldn't be a problem if I hadn't gessoed but I have how's it getting any better than that all right I don't know whether they stick the stickers on the same way around but I'm going to put the CBS the right way around there got my straw Now covered in black paint. <laughs> How's it get any better? What's right about that? I'm not getting. Now, there's the cool thing about using records is they automatically mark their center point for you. So our center point is right there. So going across in a straight line. Goes across there. Let's get this party started. Uh, mm. some delicious looking cells in there and go the other way paint's runny enough for this to be honest guys but that's okay we can change that it's early enough let's put some more water in but look at these delicious cells along here I like that And let's thin down the yellow as well. It runs off the stick really nicely, but it's actually still really thick. When you're stirring your paint, you really do need to look to... Um, Scrape the sides and the bottom 
Make sure you're getting all the different spots. It's still, still quite thick. Double hand stirring. <laughs> Please don't anybody complain about the amount of wastage I've got going on here. Oops. Oh, those cells are delicious. If you miss being a kid and being at kindergarten where you get to play with paint, throw it all over the place, get in trouble and clean it up. <laughs> this is what this is all about, guys. I like it like that. Let's torch it. Let's see what happens. Got lots of air bubbles in here. And an airplane. See if we can stretch that out a little bit that way. Because there's a big run. That goes. Can you see this? Check it out. Woohoo! Look at these cells! That's so pretty. Yeah. Let's have a look. What do you reckon? Should I just leave it as it is? Um, what do I do now? What do I do now? Okay, how do you pop bubbles? I can't seem to do it. They just sort of run away from my pointy thing. I 
only way I have found to pop bubbles is with a flame torch. it get any better oh that worked maybe my pin's too pointy right. no <laughs> that was a one-off working oh two Otherwise, we're going to have gigantic holes in our painting when it dries. I like it. There's a few little of the splashes that are a little bit too harsh. Some, most of them just kind of wisp away and look pretty cool, but some of them are too obviously splashy. It's where did I put my mm. There it is. There we go. It's just blend them in a little bit. Oh, more bubbles. like it. I really really like it. I think I would probably hang it that way. You know, this one is still too too insane. Insane in the membrane. So I'm going to put some black down and blow that over it. Of that. There you go, that got rid of it. I might do that on this little bit over here too. Ah! What's right about that? Got a pretty stick. right about it is it was already a mushy mess to start with <laughs> oh, it's funny funny because it's true I like you I like you a lot let's get you down and show you some of these cool cells all right it's not very, being very focused, sorry. <laughs> There's not a lot to focus on from that distance. Okay. So, we have got some very cool cell action going on in here. You could see all sorts. I'm seeing a ghost and a smiley face all in one. These look like buzzy bee eyes. Bees flying straight at you. Wah.
Woohoo! Wow. I love it. I think I might have to do another one. Oh, look at those cells. They are cool. And then there's colour through there, but not huge amounts. And some more very pretty cells in here. All from three colours, guys. Three colours. Cool yellow, raw sienna, and black. I'm excited. Look at all those beautiful cells. Right, so I'm going to put this one under a box. Let it dry for a couple of days. Um, I'm going to paint another painting right now, so I'm going to check it again before I go inside because I'm seeing another bubble how dare it there we go there's your bubble <laughs> all right thank you so much for joining me I had lots of fun with this one and thank you for, to Debbie from acrylic pouring for the idea and how does it get even better than this what else is possible cheers